Hello and welcome, Dr. Andy Rosenfarb here with AccuVision Acupuncture and Eye Health Institute. Today I'm really excited to talk to you about a new technology that we're introducing called Frequency Specific Alternating Current Stimulation. Now maybe you've heard of it, there's a lot of research that's been going on in Germany about this technology to improve your eye health. Maybe you can't travel. As you know, we have a clinic here where we have patients come in from all around the world seeking help with eye issues, either acute uh, eye issues such as eye strokes, such as retinal bleeding, such as retinal detachments or eye injuries. That's one type of patient we work with. The second is more of a chronic degenerative scenario, patients who have macular degeneration, glaucoma, retinitis pigmentosa, Usher syndrome, diabetic retinopathy, optic nerve atrophy, and a host of other retinal and optic nerve diseases. So where does this fit in for you? Maybe you've been to the clinic, maybe you've wanted to come to work with us, and maybe you haven't been able to travel. So maybe travel's been an issue for you because we're pretty far away. Maybe cost has been a factor for you. And we understand this, this is why we created this. We created alternating current stimulation called the ACS 3000 to provide you with a home care treatment strategy so you can recover vision and help keep the vision that you have going forward is more of a preservation strategy. So let's talk a little bit about how, what is alternating current stimulation and how does it work? So you may again have been aware of alternating current stimulation. A lot of the research and treatments are going on in Europe. It started in Germany. There are clinics in Switzerland and Italy as well, I believe. Uh, it's also called transocular stimulation or transorbital stimulation. For those of you guys who've done research on this, there's a lot of research. If you want to go to uh, things like PubMed or Google Scholar, absolutely do some research on that. So what is it? So alternating current stimulation is where we use tiny electro electrical microcurrents that are barely perceivable and they provide electrostimulation to the eye and brain, the entire visual system. It's safe and very effective for these types of conditions. Now, how does it work? Simply stated, the uh, alternating current stimulation electrodes use specific frequencies to stimulate the eye and brain, the visual system, and the optic nerve, of course, too, that connects the eye to the brain. What happens is, the alternating current stimulation works by dilating blood vessels to bring more oxygen, glucose, micro and macronutrients to the eye and brain, which allows the nerves in the eye, the photoreceptors, the optic nerve of the brain, to eat, breathe, metabolize, and regenerate. Sounds good, right? We also use it to help awaken and arouse the dormant nerve cells that have gone to sleep. So a lot of the functionality of vision loss is due to the fact that some of these cells are not dead, they're just in a dormant or sick state, and they need to be repaired and regenerated. So we use these therapies, specifically this alternating current stimulation, to help arouse and wake up these sleeping cells. And as a result of that, the function improves, the visual function in improves. Neuroplasticity is a new, relatively new term that people are talking about. What is that? So alternating current stimulation also helps with neuroplasticity where the brain can improve its remaining visual capacity meaning it improves its its coherence and its nerve signaling whatever is left uh, of the vision if there's some cell death it really improves or, or optimizes the residual function it also guides stem cells and growth factors to the eyes for repair and regeneration we're also working on repairing the ocular vascular system uh, finally, we're promoting a parasympathetic nervous system uh, for, to activate a healing response. So when we're dealing with neurological conditions, a lot of the times when we bring the brainwave activity into alpha or theta, which is a more relaxed state of brain activity, uh, we, we amplify healing and we can accelerate healing. So you might ask too, what are the side effects? Is it safe, is it effective? Well, we know it works. There's a lot of research behind it. We've been doing clinical research with alternating current stimulation for the past two to three years. The side effects that we've really noticed are some patients will report a mild headache. Sometimes they'll get a little tired too. Also, because the, the pads around the eyes, there may be a little temporary blurriness. 
So that's just something that, that goes away pretty quickly and it's not something that lasts, it's just because of the pressure on the eyes. Finally, who can't use it or who shouldn't use alternating current stimulation? And I'd say that the, the only, there are only three types of patients that we're really concerned with when it comes to uh, alternating current stimulation. One is patients with epilepsy or seizure disorders. All right, we don't wanna use it if that's something you have. Uh, and also if anybody has brain tumors. So if you have a brain tumor, what, again, the microcurrent, what it does, uh, the alternating current stimulation, these microcurrents, what they do is they, they bring uh, stem cells and growth factors to the eyes and brain. And if there are any existing tumors, it could be a problem because we know stem cells can accelerate growth of, of tumors. So it's not that it will cause cancer, but if we know that somebody already has existing cancers, especially meta metastatic type of cancers, we wanna use some caution there. Thank you and we'll see you soon, bye-bye.